What's up friends of the good mood? This is Manny and welcome to this special setup right here. When you see this robot, you better run because that particular setup here with the sonic weapons is going to obliterate you. The old Ravana is absolutely killing it and I'm going to prove it to you ladies and gentlemen here in this video. Also, I'm going to make a video about the top three, top five best war robots. Let's see if the Ravana is going to make it in there because uh, uh, yeah, let me just... Let me just give you a couple of examples here, okay? Uh, you see there's a Rav Revenant right there. Insanely powerful tanky beast that no one really can take out easily or fast. Let me show you how it's done. We're just gonna wait a few seconds out his abilities. We're stalling some time until he no longer has his ability ready. Where he can, you know, basically restore all HP that you do to him or damage. And uh, let me just ramp up the music. Right? And show you how it's done. After his ability is gone... Boom, boom, boom. No more restoring health for you, friend. Not because of those sonic weapons. And pam, 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 after the last stand, there's, an, a, there's a, a face shift out of absolute frustration. That didn't help him either. So, whoop, goes the ref. And yeah, ladies and gents, if you like the video, subscribe to the channel. And if you like the music that you hear right here, then I've got something for you. That's some freaking awesome music right there, man. It's the perfect action music for any heroic thing that's going on in <laughs> anywhere. Enemy Revenant, oh no, enemy uh, Ravana here. Also, he gets to escape. Look at this. After all this. Because he's a Revenant and no, he's sorry. He's a Ravana too many R robots uh, He's a Ravana and he gets to escape because of all those transcendence abilities uh, So the music is still going nuts. Let's let it go. I Like that song man And here's the thing the reason I make this so loud also is because I often get asked by people, Manny, what's the music you're using? Where did you get it from? And what's can you can you use the music on a YouTube channel or on social media and even monetize it or whatever? The answer is yes to all of that, uh, except the first question. The music is from EpidemicSound.com. If you guys want to check it out, I can have a I have a referral link in the video description pinned comment for you, where you get a month for free. Okay, that's a bonus that you can start with if you want to try it out. Um, um, it's uh, a music library that I've been using for many years and it's insanely good and it just uh, Every every couple of uh, months I just go in there grab a new f new amount of awesome cool songs and add them to the list You can actually just download the songs You can even download them with or without certain aspects of the song certain Instruments or parts that you don't like with voice or without voice and then download them the way you like it to it's pretty awesome um, So yeah uh, again the video the link to that uh, to that epidemic sound my referral join up link is in the video description I get a bit of a bonus for you guys if if you sign up, but mostly you also get a free month So it's actually worth it for you guys as well. Go ahead and check it out um, And then you can have the same music that I'm running right here this one Woo! It's a song I have for many years already on the playlist. Because that just sounds so freaking epic. Maximum epicness. All right, we finally died after quite a long time um, with that one uh, Ravana that we've been using. It's just nuts. Now you see a little tiny little bit of a special video I'm also making. It's called Run Him Over on the Thumbnail. The absolute deletion and massacre with an uh, Minos Cinder compilation. An entire 13 minutes compilation just doing nothing but this. It's gonna come up or it's already out. I, I don't know which order I release the videos. If it's already out in the top right corner, you'll find the video. Alright, so let's see how much we've done. 5.7 million damage, 3 caps, 13 kills. The good news is that the Ravana is so tanky, it's so brawly, you can be in short range and you can also capture beacons, so you're a very, very useful thing. Let me just show you how I defeat the entire enemy team on the right flank, single-handedly, and then also grab their beacon, right? Let me just, let me just show this to you guys. So, here we go, starting off. Uh, okay, I'm not alone. Alright, we're not alone. Uh, it's not single-handedly, we have a couple of hands, uh, heads in there, but I really am the one doing all the killing killing and all the damage here. Look at this. Every time a dude gets out of his stealth, a pam 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 and he's done. And um, my teammates aren't really able to deal as much damage here because I just drop him so quickly. I think they also just took one of our guys down. 
I also can use Transcendence ability for, uh, to, to shoot through or to survive through puncher attacks. Oh, there's a new Scorpion who jumped in. Look at this. Okay. He's almost gone already. Pam, pam, pam. And that's it for him. Scorpion gone. And uh, I'm even going to capture the beacon now. I get the stupid shield, thankfully. Also, I get protected by it. Beacon is mine. And if you think that's been it... No, 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 no. Then you don't know what's coming here, ladies and gents. There is an enemy uh, shell robot coming in. I obviously didn't get killed by his shell ability. Uh, because, you know, um, I, I have transcendence mode. And so every time he explodes, like right now, for example, I could use the ability. In this case, I didn't do it. I saved it up. And look at what I'm doing to this poor shell. However, ah, oh man, we have so many enemies on us now. I think it's too much right now. <laughs> yep. Uh, that is too much. So let's jump into another robot. Even the Ravana de does eventually die when there's too much on you. Uh, but it takes a lot to get him killed, obviously, as you have just seen. So let's just delete those couple of dudes here real quick. What do we have here? A Ao Chun. Okay. He already started his flight. There's another Aochun. What's with the Aochuns all of a sudden? Heh? All of a sudden there's Aochuns left and right. People haven't been running Aochuns for a while, or at least not that many. And now you, you start seeing Aochuns again. A lot of them, even. I can't... I, okay, I can't finish off the other guy. Somehow he squeezes himself in the tiniest corner, as if he knew I was going to attack him. Even though I have an enemy right next to me, somehow he knew I was gonna focus him as soon as I have its slightest chance. Uh, and with that, he actually managed to, uh, yeah. Well, but I got him now before he started to fly, so the whole thing wasn't even worth it. <laughs> oh man, I don't know if we're able to win this fight, man. My team has not captured a single beacon on the left flank. On the right flank, I'm absolutely spawn broken by the enemy spawns all the time. Every couple of seconds, some dude spawns in. There's no way for me to capture the beacons here. Um, we, uh, my, but if I have, if I keep half the enemy team occupied on the right flank, it should be the easiest thing in the in the world to get either the center or the left side beacon for my team. Uh, it's it's just one of those things that I just I just it doesn't make any any sense when you calculate it. In this case, I've had two or three guys almost the entire time here on the right flank, uh, and uh, and despite all that left of the entire rest of the map is in enemy hands. So we basically have... I'm, I'm completely alone here on that side. We basically have five people able to take care of the remaining three guys or whatever they have on the other side. And they, they can't do it. They just can't ca grab a single beacon. It's uh, unbelievable. Alright, let's run in real quick here with the Minos. See if we can get that beacon now. Um... We have an enemy Minos there. I'm not using my reflector just yet. Also a part of what you're going to see in the upcoming compilation. I'm going to ruin every Titan that you, that you see right here. I have already the reflectors, reflectors running. We have two Titans killed now. And um, the beacon is already being captured. Getting here behind the corner so that the Hawk Laser doesn't get me. But the Hawk Laser got me almost the entire time. Uh, but I'm killing now the entire Muhammad's here as well. And, uh, and the Hawk behind us too with the Reflector running. And boom. So, I've basically just taken out the entire map at the same time. And um, yeah, I guess that was an interesting uh, display of what the Minos can do. But also what the Revenant can do. I would, be, I, I would need to capture this beacon here now quickly, but... Uh, of course, the enemy is... Uh, somehow, my <laughs> they have captured this beacon too, right there. We just had, a f for a few seconds, we had all the beacons, but... Uh, mm. Well, I guess this is over. Let's see how much we've done at the end of this match. Right after this match ends here. Um, dropping the shell. Boom. There we go. I'm gonna capture this beacon one last time. We have, we have all the beacons right now, but the enemy is actually, in fact, capturing one last beacon. And that one cap... That one cap that this one uh, stealth robot right there is doing is going to lose our, us the match. See this guy from the Weed Clan over to the right? He just he just won this match for his team. He just single-handedly does it. By capturing this peak and he did it. Because uh, I'm going in here now, I'm killing everything, but he just spawns a robot there and he, they keep it red. And that's it. Boom. Perfect. That's, that's checkmate. We have all the beacons except this, uh, but... Any beacon point they get right now is victory for them. And by simply keeping it red, they win. Even though we completely dominate the whole thing. They win the fight. 
because it takes too long to get this uh, Fenrir out of the way, and they kept it red, so boom, defeat. Absolute abnormal play from that weed guy. Dude, you are the man. You just won this thing single-handedly for your team. All right, so let's keep going. Next se session here with the ref. And uh, no, the Ravana, sorry. Again, with the Rs. Every Ravana, Ravana, both robots are tanky. Both robots have tremendous firepower. Both robots are so dominant and powerful in the meta right now. And they both begin with the R and it just drives me completely nuts, man. Ravana, Revenant, it's so similar for me. But yeah, the, um, let me just show you what these robots can do. We're recapping the beacon that they just, just took out of here. There's a, uh, an Inquisitor jumped over. Interesting. Haven't seen an Inquisitor in a while. Let me just drop his stealth, uh, his last stand. I hit him. I don't know if you've seen it. I hit him with a left flank here. Only the left weapons fire. Bam, bam, bam. And I have it sorted so that every shot I did was hitting him. So he comes out of stealth and his last stand is already pretty much gone. Right? So grabbing the beacon again. No, I still can't do it. Again, you know how we deal with them, right? Revenants are so, uh, revenants are so, God's sakes with the R. Um, they're so hard, hard to take down, but you, uh, it's they're actually rather easy when you have sonic weapons and you just wait out their ability, and then they come out of that ability, and there's not going to be any heal back for them at all, and so they get completely strapped. There's no chance for them. And uh, by the way, I already had the beacon white, and yet somehow still an enemy managed to jump on the beacon with that revenant and uh, and still keep me from capping it. Even though I've already turned it white, they still found ways to appear on that beacon. So, I'm um, using Transcendence here. Boop, right through his explosion. Boom, no damage taken. Then still using Transcendence against his last stand. And then he comes out of it. Boom, boom, boom. Two shots and he's gone. Okay, I'm using Transcendence through the battleship uh, ability that somebody sent. Okay, there's a leech now. No, sorry, it's an Ares. Uh, an Ares with his uh, ability running, so let's just wait it out, wait it out, and after all that, we should be able to drop him. Legendary pilot on the Typhon has been depleted, finishing off, Le living legend, boom, this guy done. And even with my low HP that I have remaining, uh, that guy doesn't stand a chance. Also, very popular in the meta right now, ladies and gentlemen, are the toxic weapons. But remember, the toxic weapons don't work at all against a Ravana. Uh, because you have the uh, transcendence ability that does not only shield you or protect you It's it's it works like a face shift It also removes any negative effect from you entirely. So if he hits me with a lot of corrosion I'm you, I'm just gonna you see here 20 corrosion things or whatever And I just gonna I'm just an activating my ability and it removes any corrosive or negative effect whatsoever Right? So all the stacks of corrosion damage they did, let's imagine for example somebody hit you with wasp eight times or so, you have massive corrosion ticking on you and you just activate transcendence and all that wasp, all that corrosion is gone. Another revenant is what they, they love spawning revenants in order to protect beacons and uh, but I just love re just reducing them to ashes every time their ability runs out. It's just the best thing ever. They can't do anything about this. Because those sonic weapons simply delete them and leave them no heal back at all. And the heal back, that instant fix, is what makes them work, you know? Um, so yeah, let's keep running. We're still in, in good, good shape. Oh yeah, I just removed an enemy titan from the battlefield with the Orion battleship. Uh, and I think I actually hit two or three titans at the same time. See that Mugumets right there? Wait for it. Wait for it, and boom, 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 boom. No chance for him there. And I'm still here with that one Ravana. Isn't that insane, ladies and gents? Here, there's a shell robot jumping in. His physical shield is basically broken after three or four shots. I'm reusing Transcendence right through his explosion. Down to last stand with the dude. Wait for it. Here comes his last stand, and pop, that's it for him. It's such a powerful bot, man. <laughs> Such a meta machine. All right, he hasn't used his uh, his shockwave yet. Uh, but let's see what we can do. I'm gonna st stay a little out of it. Firing at him, he's not firing at me, he wants that Titan. We already broke through the physical shield and dude, he is just taking so much damage, it's unbelievable. Titan Slayer. And even if you have, the, the, the next thing is it reduces, uh, it prevents the team play so much, you know, uh, from the enemy team if they have 
menders if they have um okay the mender can actually heal gray hp back but not that much you know and also if they have capri robots if they have nodens support you can ruin titans and prevent the healing from nodens we have done 12 kills four beacon caps ladies and gents again an insane match right here and the reason we were able to do it is because it is one of those setups if you see it you better run because <laughs> it's gonna take you down so yeah thanks for watching everybody check out that referral link in the video description pinned comment uh and uh yeah uh see if you want to use that um that epidemic sound the music is uh, pretty awesome if you ask me pretty action-paced music you can find all kind of genres it also gives you an option to sort through genre by or you you like this song you click on show similar and you get sounds like this it's super good um for finding exactly what you're interested in. So yeah, thanks for watching, have a good one, and see you in the next videos. Money signing off. Bye-bye.